Okay, today we're going to be demonstrating our new threading tool. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to break down the box and lubricate everything. The easiest way to break down the box is use a small coin and everything can just kind of is notched so it's easy disassembly. Now that we've lubricated our pieces, we're going to place our 2A and our 2B together and our 4A and our 4B together. Then you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and we're just going to subsequently stack one on top of the other. Okay, using the clay of your choice, you want to make a little piece about the size of this. And we're going to take it and put it in 2A and 2B. Put it in the center. Put one finger behind it. And you just kind of want to smush it in there. And you don't need to fill it up completely. About three quarters is fine. Once you get the piece kind of extruded into there, you put 2A, 2B on top of one. Okay, then you want to push in a little bit more. As you can see, it's not quite fully full. Then you take 3 and you put it on top of 2A and 2B. Then you take 4A and 4B and put it on top. Then you take finally 5. That stacks up on top. Okay, so now that we have our clay loaded in there, we're going to take our threading plunger and we're going to stick it in here. And we're just going to screw it in. And you unscrew. Using our coin again, I'm going to break it down. And what we have here now is our basic female thread. And we're going to just slice away a little bit the extra extruded clay. Now we're going to make our male piece. Of course, we've already lubricated. Um, same principle um, as before. You assemble part A and part B. Um, Take a little bit of clay, stick it in, kind of extrude it between your two fingers, and we're going to assemble it onto the lower layer. Push into it a little bit more. And our next layer on top. Next layer on top of that one. This one we're going to stick in and screw into it straight. Okay. Using a coin. Open this up. Okay, so now we're pretty much ready for the hot plate. Okay. They've been drying for about 20 minutes on the hot plate. We're gonna crack them open and this one already been opened. This one's ready to go back onto the hot plate. And then opening this one, a little bit more delicate. This is our threaded piece. And we're going to also just delicately remove this. Throw it back on the hot plate. Okay, so we let our pieces dry here. We're going to take them off the see You'll have little wings here that they'll just fall right off. You can take a toothpick and just clean off that little edges here. Okay, so once your pieces are dry, you have to basically mate them together. And to do that, you're going to screw them in slowly but surely. Each time, you know, you find resistance, you work it a little bit, you blow out the dust, and you work it till your threads are all mated together. And then after firing, uh, it'll all fit together correctly. That's it.